Hey guys, girls. It is me once again, Joseph Cohen Mason. And guys, girls, right now I look so high and so like sleepy and drunk as hell. That's because I spent the whole last night trying to finish this game I've been playing, uh, which is a really, really awesome game. One of the best games I have ever played in my life. One of my absolute favorites. And this game is Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, and the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection from 1987 to uh, 2012. And it was uh, since the release of the first Metal Gear game back in 1987 and up to up till now, until Peace Walker and Ground Zeroes, have we gotten so many Metal Gear games that have revolutionized and changed the format of gaming and gaming culture in general. And this game, Metal Gear Solid uh, 2 Sons of Liberty, it is without a doubt Konami, Kojima Productions, and Hideo Kojima's greatest creation since Metal Gear Solid 1 back in uh, the, the uh, PS1. And I'm, guys, guys, I'm not joking. This game is so phenomenal. The fact that um, Hideo Kojima went, into, went so far into involve things like government conspiracy, uh, like uh, the supernatural versus reality issue and dilemma, what is real, what is fiction, what is... Uh, What's a game? What is not a game? Are you really seeing things uh, with your own eyes or are you just blind to see the truth? And uh, this game really challenges your perception on what is real and what is the supernatural or what is fiction. And it also brings up the fact about gaming and games in general. For example, there's a part of the game where the main character in the uh, in the Big Shell incident, which is Raiden, he's being asked questions like, uh, are you playing a game right now? Stop playing this game. You, you, you're hurting your eyes too much. Uh, this is not real. This is just fiction. You be, you're believing this stuff because you want to. You believe in this stuff because you think it is real, but it's actually not. That's what Hideo Kojima is trying to challenge your perception about. It was real, it was fiction. And the game basically follows, at the beginning of the game, it follows Solid Snake, the main character after Shadow Moses, who has uh, infiltrated a tanker, a giant boat which is carrying a new Metal Gear, a newly designed Metal Gear known as Ray, an anti-Metal Gear uh, called Ray. And uh, as he's trying to in infiltrate the, the, uh, the tanker, uh, it, it, gets an, it gets hijacked by a bunch of uh, Russian army and led by Colonel Golukovich and uh, uh, Shalashashka. Yeah, Shalashashka is actually Revolver Ocelot. Along with them is Olga Golukovich. And uh, the, the, the three of them uh, uh, try to hijack the, 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 uh, the tanker and take the new Metal Gear Ray unit so that they may use it for their own purpose. But Ocelot has said that uh, he's not interested in saving and uh, in, in, uh, selling Metal Gear. He's more interested in trying to uh, uh, return it to the Patriots. You heard me. He's trying to return the Metal Gear Ray unit to the Patriots, which is a reference to the Illuminati. And guys, me, personally, I think the Illuminati is, is a bullshit belief. I'm sorry, guys, but the Illuminati, they do not exist. It's a fiction. That, that is my opinion. It is my opinion, but in my opinion, the Illuminati, they do not exist. It's a fiction made by people who have no lives of their own. I don't know exactly what they believe in, but... It's a bullshit belief that there's only God and that is about it. If you don't believe in God, that's fine. But don't try to say that the world is being run by like this government, government conspiracy bullshit or whatever. I'm sorry, but anyways, uh, I digress. And uh, Melia Solid 2, after the tanker incident, which has been sunk now, the uh, tanker has been uh, sunk down, down the bottom of the ocean after... Uh, Ocelot uh, uh, took over Ray and destroyed the whole tanker and uh, apparently Ocelot's right arm is being possessed by Liquid Snake and Liquid Snake's 
that arm is actually Liquid Snake's arm, his right arm, and how he's now in control of Ocelot. And Solid Snake is now framed as a fugitive because of a camera known as, known as a cipher. A cipher has taken a picture of Solid Snake, and now he's a framed fugitive in, in the whole United States of America. And uh, uh, two years later, uh, could the, the Colonel Roy Campbell has assigned a new uh, agent uh, known as Raiden to hunt down uh, uh, to, to hunt down and, and infiltrate the big shell which is like this huge uh, this huge base uh, holding a, a bunch of hostages and the, the US president of the the US president uh, James Johnson and how uh, and how Ryan must try to uh, rescue the president and he must try to rescue as many hostages as he can but along the way he meets someone named Erkos Pliskin I might be getting the name wrong but his name is actually Erkos Pliskin uh, and uh, Pliskin is trying to help Ryan out as much as he can while also trying to uh, he, has his own, he, he has his own agenda in mind Pliskin has his own agenda and the two of them, Raiden and Pliskin, try to work together to try to take down uh, the, the big shells, uh, high, uh, the, the, the big shells uh, like uh, terrorist group led by a man named Solidus Snake. Solidus Snake is uh, said to be uh, the Solid Snake, but he's actually Solidus Snake. And uh, Solidus Snake leads uh, Dead Cell, a group of terrorists uh, uh, who are who are kind of, of a a splitting image of Foxhound, and Foxhound was disbanded years ago. After Foxhound disbanded, there was Dead Cell, and Dead Cell includes members like three known members: Vamp, a crazy ass vampire who can suck your blood, like blood, 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 and Fortune, Lady Luck herself. No bullet can touch her. Yes, she's immune to bullets and immune to dying. And finally, last but not least, uh, uh, Fat Man, an insane mad bomber who loves to blow things up like ka boo, boo like that. He loves to blow things up I, like a fucking maniac. And uh, along with Dead Cell and so the Snake comes the Russian army who are now in who are now being led by Olga Golukovich after after the death of her father Colonel Golukovich who was said to be killed to have been killed by Solid Snake but apparently Solid Snake is still alive in this game and whoever he is you also know who he is uh, uh, no spoilers there but that's the bit, that is the basic plot to uh, Metal Gear uh, Solid 2 Sons of Liberty in which Raiden and Snake have to take down a new, a new Metal Gear which is not Ray, no. The Metal Gear Ray is just the tip of the iceberg. The real Metal Gear is actually, no spoilers. I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's actually a bigger Metal Gear, a much bigger, badder and insane Metal Gear in this game. But. I'll let you find out for yourself how which uh, which Metal Gear I'm talking about. But until then, let me just say that Metal Gear Solid 2 is a really, really amazing game. Guys, gals, I can't describe how much I love this game. This game is so amazing. It's such a phenomenal experience. And Kojima, he put a lot of his own personal story in this game. Because, no spoilers. By the very end of the game, there's a moment between Snake and Raiden which is so beautiful and that moment is which in which uh, Kojima is telling his team, yeah you heard me, his Kojima Productions team, all the young kids working for him, men and women, he's telling them like, uh, 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 you must pass on your own genes and information to your to next generation. You must lead your own life the way you want to lead it. Kojima is telling him, uh, he's, he's telling the, his team that the same way he's telling Raiden that. The, the same way uh, Snake is telling Raiden. It's hard to explain, but this game goes so deep, and that moment by the end, the very end, is one of my favorite moments in Metal Gear Solid, all the games in general, because. Kojima is, Kojima is telling you by the end, uh, look, it doesn't matter who you are or who you think you are. Who, what you are now is what matters and how you create your own future. You choose what you want to pass on, whether it be your culture, your interests, your hobby, your, your beliefs, whatever. 
Kojima is telling you exactly what he's telling, uh, he, what he told his teammates who worked for him, under him, the, the young kids, men and women who worked for him. He's telling them that in, in, his, in their face, that you can choose the life you want to lead. And that is a really beautiful feeling uh, by the end of Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Because Metal Gear Solid 2 is not just a game. It's not just a game anymore. It's, it's something that I can describe because Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, Liberty. The, the title itself, Sons of Liberty, is a great title for a great game. I love Snake Eater. I love Metal Gear Solid 1, Twin Snakes. I love uh, uh, Guns of the Patriots. But Metal Gear Solid 2 really is a true art house game uh, that just so happens to be a mainstream Metal Gear Solid game. And in the end, there will always be one legend, and that legend is Solid Snake. He's so cool, he's so badass, he's so fucking sexy, but th that's besides the point. Solid Snake is a really, really great inspiration for kids like Raiden or, uh, or people in, 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 the, in this universe who look up to Solid Snake as a hero. But it doesn't matter because any one of us could be Solid Snake. Any one of us, whether it be it uh, uh, how, we, how, how we see the world, whether it be it how we choose our own fate, our own destiny, it doesn't matter because Solid Snake is, is, is very much a legend, a myth, how we could... So anyone can be formed a Solid Snake. That is brought up in this game. The f this is brought up in the game. They said that some anyone can be formed a solid snake uh, through hard work, through like dedication, through uh, through like. A... And beyond that, solid snake is someone who we cannot describe entirely as a guy who is just a hero or just a legend. No, he's more than that, and that's what I love so much about this game and the whole franchise in general. Metal Gear Solid is one of my absolute favorite franchises of all time. It's, it's one of my favorite series ever. But if I were to if I were to describe Metal Gear Solid 2 in brief, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2: Sons of Liberty is without question among my top 10 favorite games ever. You heard me, top 10 favorite games ever, and I love love this game. I highly highly recommend you all play it as soon as you possibly can. Please play it. Please play it. And when you find the time, play it, enjoy it, and be in awe of the creation that Kojima created. Hideo Kojima is a true, true master and genius of games and, 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 gaming, and, and gaming in general. But see, there's one problem with this game, one problem. The action, the gameplay. Sometimes the action has no lock on. For example, if I'm trying to shoot someone like boom, 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 or I punch someone, I can't lock on to them. Usually in games nowadays, we can lock onto a target like uh, like zoom, zoom, a, a fixed lock on. But but we can't in this game. We have to we have to focus our own like vision, our viewpoint on the target. And yes, you do sometimes get an option to, to lock on someone like like this. But no, you can't. In this game, there's a lock-on option, which is so bad, I don't like it. Other than that, this game is so amazing. You will get your ass kicked a lot of times in this game, if you're, not, if you're not careful, if you're not aware of the Metal Gear Solid games. But this game is a sneaking game, a sneaking stealth game, which you have to focus a lot of energy and time into stealth mode. But, but it doesn't matter because how you play the game is up to you and I love this game because the fact it's a, it's, it's a huge, huge revolutionary change and it, it, it's like a revolutionary game and games and games and gaming culture and how it really changed the way games are made. I love this game so much and I highly, highly can you play it right now. Please do, please, 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 yeah. Anyways guys. That's about it. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much. And uh, please like, subscribe, comment. And uh, that's about it. Oh, by the way, please subscribe to my fellow YouTubers and gamers uh, Vandalex, D Retro, uh, Cal Calification, uh, uh, Death in the Shadows, uh, Happy Lion, and. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of channels I want you to check out. A lot of channels, but I'll put the link to the channel in the info box down below. 
subscribe to uh, the Red Troll, uh, Power Polarize, uh, uh, Vandalex, uh, Death in the Shadows, Happy Lion, PU Gaming, uh, Flame X Games, uh, uh, and uh, uh, who else? Who else? Uh, uh, subscribe to all these channels and please, please play this game, this awesome, cool ass game, Milga Solid 2. Please, please play it, yes. Anyways, guys, girls, that's about it. Oh, one more thing. Adios, amigos.